guys stevie here welcome back to my youtube channel you guys already know how these videos go i'm gonna walk you guys through kind of just my personal picks and my curated sort of favorites when it comes to essentials and trends i'll walk you guys through how i personally would style it where you can get certain pieces from what i think is an essential what i think is a trend give you guys a ton of outfit examples and just a ton of again context and inspo and all that good stuff and most importantly i just really want this video to be your one-stop shop and your go-to place for all of your inspo when curating your winter wardrobe and closet for this colder season. As always, it gets chatty here, so do what you have to do. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax with me for a bit. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Stevie. I create men's fashion content just like this with the occasional vlog, so if you like this sort of content, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, drop me some love down there, all that good stuff. And yeah, we got a lot to cover. We have a lot of ground to get through. So without further ado, let's dive into my personal favorites when it comes to essentials and trends for this winter season. Essential number one, hands down, has to be an overcoat. This jacket right here is my personal go-to when it comes to a jacket for the winter season. I love a overcoat so much, specifically an oversized coat, and I'll talk about that in just a second, but kind of just going into the piece. An overcoat, in my personal opinion, is top tier. It beats every sort of jacket for the winter season. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can find overcoats in such a wide variety of not only styles, I'm talking single collar, double-breasted collars. If you wanna be really bold, you can wear a leather overcoat you can obviously opt for something a bit more traditional like the wool overcoat you can find overcoats from the thrift store from really high-end luxury brands to mid-tier brands to even fast fashion brands whatever sort of budget you're working with and whatever sort of vibe you're looking into wearing when it comes to an overcoat i'm 99 sure that you guys can find in addition to all those things i just said the reason why i feel like an overcoat is so essential for the winter season is obviously it's going to keep you nice and warm as i mentioned you truly can style it so many ways i could see myself wearing it but just a sweat set a beanie some sneakers for a more casual flex sort of feel and look and then if i wanted to dress it up i could really take it there with maybe some boots some pants a really nice knit turtleneck a tote bag and maybe do my hair and i'll be good to go i have two tips when it comes to the overcoat for the winter season number one stick to more neutral colors so i'm talking black gray charcoal gray navy blue or a nice tan color and secondly in my humble opinion and you guys might disagree Agree with me and that's totally fine overcoats look better when they are oversized i'm going to say it for the people in the back one time again overcoats look better when they're oversized you guys can fight me in the comments all you want because i feel like a lot of people come at me for wearing my overcoats oversized but i personally just feel like even taking it just one size up really adds that nice relaxed look and feel it comes off a bit more effortless and even though it is slightly more oversized in a way if you're looking at it just from a visual standpoint in a weird way it kind of looks even more refined and it looks a lot more intentional and it just looks a lot more like you know what you're doing when it comes to style and fashion that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but if i had to give you guys two tips it would be stick to the neutrals when it comes to the colors and get it oversized i'm telling you don't sleep on that oversized tip you're not going to regret it trust me when it comes to the winter season, you guys already know what it is. Majority of us, if not all of us, we have places to be. We have holiday parties, we have holiday gatherings, family stuff, stuff with our friends, company parties, just pretty much anything in regards to kind of getting dressed up. And with that, I feel like I personally always opt for a really nice classic shoe. So that is the second sort of essential that I want to talk about in today's video. I'm talking about classic shoes like Chelsea boots, loafers, regular sort of sneakers, nothing trend-based or nothing too trendy or nothing too Two out there and the go-to brand for me personally when it comes to classic amazing high quality shoes is bruno mark thank you to bruno mark for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel i have two shoes that i want to share with you guys and we'll get into it and i'll talk about how i would style it and all that stuff so first up, we have these classic sort of leather style boots right here. I love the double pull tabs with the nice sort of zipper enclosure on the side. I love how you kind of get a mix of that leather material with that slight chunkiness of the sole. So you're kind of still playing into the men's fashion trends that are currently going on, but it's not going too overboard. I could see myself dressing this up or dressing it down. I think just naturally with the sort of silhouette of this boot right here, I would kind of get a nice half and half going. So something that could be refined enough to step out and go to maybe a party or a gathering, but nothing too 
casual to where it would just look like I'm not going anywhere. The Bruno Mark boots right here are in my opinion, 10 out of 10. I've been getting a lot of wear out of this. I mentioned it in a couple of videos ago, um, like last month, and I've been loving it ever since. And I could just see myself styling this up with so much things. And this is such an, a great epitome of a perfect winter boot. The double pull tabs are really nice sort of quality of the material of the overall boot. And then that nice chunkiness to kind of get you through the more colder, wetter, and or snowier days in the winter season. So this boot right here, perfect option. And then for the more dressy, dressy stuff, such as the company parties, the Christmas parties, the holiday gatherings, if you're looking to kind of really take it there, elevate your look, a really nice pair of classic loafers such as these ones from Bruno Mark are again, 10 out of 10, such a great option. I really like these ones for a couple of reasons. That nice, shiny, patent-like leather material of the shoe itself is just crazy. It's such a great sort of visual interest and it just kind of offers that nice little pop with the overall outfit. And then I love the slight sort of square toe towards the front, I feel like it offers that nice refinement, that nice formality that obviously I look for in a loafer just like this. I can see myself wearing this with a mock neck, a really nice pair of proper trousers, a blazer, and then a really nice festive like or more pattern like overcoat to kind of take it there with the Christmas and holiday vibes. The reason why I like this loafer right here is obviously we you know we're talking about the winter season, we're talking about the holiday stuff, but this loafer right here, in addition to these boots right here from Bruno Mark, I feel like even though they're such great essentials for the winter season, they are truly such great essentials for all year round. If you guys are looking to invest in such amazing classic shoes for the winter season, as well as pretty much all year round, Bruno Mark definitely has you covered. They have those shoes and so much more to choose from. And the best part is, is in addition to it being amazing quality, the Bruno Mark pieces are fairly priced in my humble opinion already. However, they are also offering a generous discount to my viewers who are watching this video right now. So I'll have those links in the description box down below and then you guys can kind of check out what else they have because they have some fire stuff and making sure you use my discount code so you save yourself some money. So thank you once again to them for showing me love. And now let's dive into the rest of the essentials and trends for this winter season. This next one could be an essential, but I'm gonna talk about more of the trend-based part of it. Let's talk about oversized scarves. So scarves in general, of course, are gonna keep you nice and cozy and warm for the winter season. Kind of go the more simple route with kind of just a nice, warm, cozy one that just has a solid color or maybe a subtle pattern to it. Or you can kind of tap into the trends that are currently happening right now and go for more of a bolder, really oversized scarf. Something to rep your favorite brand. Something that, again, is really nice and big and oversized. A lot of people have been wearing it kind of more they wrap it a specific way and then they put it over their head to kind of get more of some visual interest going on and it kind of almost looks like a hat of some sort. And I feel like that also looks really nice, especially in photos and stuff. If any of you guys are content creators like myself, it has that really nice, again, visual interest. But just kind of speaking to scarves and oversized scarves in general, I feel like this is such a really great accessory right there. Such a great outfit finisher. It really does take your outfit from here all the way to up here. And I feel like it's something as simple as just a scarf it really does elevate your outfit and take it to the next level. Again, you can keep it more more simple with just a solid pattern or a solid color, or you can opt for something that's a little bit more bolder. It's really kind of up to you and kind of your personal taste. I personally like something that's a little bit more bolder, a little bit more oversized, just because I think when you're wearing something a little bit more simple, having that nice touch and that nice pop of something a little bit more unique, it definitely takes it there. But again, to each their own, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This next trend right here is something that I feel like either you get it or you don't. And I personally get it, and I think my real ones who follow me from day one, y'all get it too. Let's talk about super big puffer jackets for the winter season. So I recently styled one from Entire Studios that I got gifted, and I love that puffer jacket so much. And I definitely got some variation when it comes to the feedback I received. A lot of people really loved it. They were like, Stevie, that is the most sickest oversized puffer jacket I've ever seen. And then some people on the other spectrum, which, whatever, they were like, what the hell is that? What are you wearing? Like, it looks so crazy. You look like the Michelin man, da 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 all of this crazy stuff. Anyways, the real ones get it. You guys know what it is, you know the vibe. So I'm speaking to you guys directly. Or if you have an open mind and you want to kind of tap into what's currently trending, I'm telling you guys big oversized puffer jackets for the winter season. Not only is it visually interesting, not only does it really add that nice sort of flex, for lack of better words, to your outfit for the winter season, but it's obviously gonna keep you warm. On some real, when I was shooting my outfit photos for that puffer jacket that I shot for entire studios, which you guys are seeing on the screen right now, I was literally sweating when I was, uh, 
taking photos in that jacket, but it just goes to show that not only does it look nice, but it's also gonna keep me warm for the winter season. I personally live in Seattle and we get snow here, so I could definitely see myself wearing that when I'm going somewhere while it's snowing, but I still wanna come through with the casual flex and a nice outfit. You guys don't have to get that one specifically. I'll leave some affordable alternatives as well as just alternatives in general in the description box down below. But I think if you feel like an overcoat is a little bit too dressy, because as I mentioned, that overcoat jacket style is definitely an essential for me. But if you're like, oh, Stevie, I think it's a little too dressy for me. I kind of just want to stick to the puffer jacket sort of vibe. I think getting a super big, oversized, puffy, puffy, puffer jacket is the way to go for this particular season. But again, this is meant to kind of be an open discussion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think it's a hit, but I don't know. Some people might think it's a miss. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between essentials and trends, and you guys are kind of seeing it on the screen. So that's kind of how this video is going, just so you know. With that said, getting back into some essentials, let's talk about some relaxed fit straight leg pants. These style of pants right here, I feel like have been an essential for me personally for a minute now. I think the wave and the era of skinny jeans, unfortunately, or unfortunately for some, but fortunately for me, is long and gone. And I think nowadays, everyone is just looking to be on their casual flex. We are just trying to be more relaxed. We're not trying to literally squeeze our legs and our thighs and our calves into pants such as skinny jeans. And so opting for pants of a relaxed look, whether it's a super straight leg trouser or a pair of workwear pants or even a pair of baggy jeans is truly and humbly speaking, in my opinion, the way to go for the winter season and truly just all year round. But if we're talking about trousers, trousers and pants specifically for the winter season, this is gonna be my go-to. You guys are seeing examples on the screen. All of these people are doing it right in my opinion. And the style of pants is exactly what I'm talking about. I want to see, and I love to see, just more of a relaxed fit on top of a sneaker, on top of a boot, on top of a loafer. Just a little bit more on that casual flex. You know, you're not really trying too hard. It's not too polished. It's not too buttoned up. It's just more relaxed. It's, it's a lot more easy. And in addition to it, obviously being a lot more comfortable because it's not so constraining. It just looks nice. It offers that nice sort of visual interest with the flow. But let me know what you guys think. Are you team still skinny jeans or are you team no to skinny jeans? We only wear straight leg relaxed fit pants. Let me know what you guys think. This next essential for me is probably a simple one, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention it in a winter essentials and trends video. Let's talk about knit sweaters and or special sweaters for the winter season. You guys are seeing the examples on the screen. I'm talking about just any sort of knit sweater that offers that really nice chunkiness, that nice waffle knit and or a knit or a sweater of some sort that has a more special twist to it. Like the one that you're seeing from Cole Buxton on the screen, that really nice sort of merino wool fabric with the big loud CB logo. I feel like a lot of brands have been kind of doing their own iteration of that said sort of style with their bold logo across either the chest or the back or the shoulder blade, or even they make it like kind of small, like a smaller logo, and then they stamp it all throughout the, the knit as a whole. I feel like that's also nice as well. So it really just depends what you're going for. I just wanted to mention an essential sort of top that wasn't a jacket, kind of something that you can wear underneath your outerwear, like a chunky knit or a more special sort of logo style sweater. I also really like this style of knit and just tops in general for the winter season because you truly can dress it up or dress it down. And depending on which one you get, like if you get a more casual one, just a casual waffle knit, you truly can wear that with pretty much anything. And then if you get something that's a little bit more special, like the Cole Buxton one or just anything with logos on it, that piece within itself is gonna do all the talking. So it kind of allows you to keep the rest of your fit fairly simple. So it just kind of depends which route you wanna go, but I highly recommend this style of top for the winter season, 10 out of 10. All right, wrapping the video up with two more trends that I think you guys are really going to hate, but, and I, and I don't want this video to be controversial at all, but it's just trends that I'm personally enjoying. And obviously that's why you're coming to my channel to see what I'm liking. So let's talk about it. So coming in at number seven, it is a trend. I want to talk about unique headwear. So the brand that I feel like has really sparked this sort of wave is Amelion Dor. Naturally, they'd be sparking a lot of waves, but I think if you guys know it, and if you guys, if you guys notice it, the real ones who are, you know, they're, you're into the fashion stuff, they tapped into men's fashion and all that stuff. I don't know if it's just me, but I've been noticing that Amelie Andor has been doing a lot of really unique stuff when it comes to their hats. I have never seen these kind of hats before. I don't even know what to call them, but I just, I really like it. I actually bought a couple um, recently. You guys are seeing the examples on the screen. I'm talking about just those really unique sort of fedoras that they have going on. The kind of more like, 
don't know, it's like a hat and it's like flat, but then they wear it backwards. So you see like the script on the on the front. I don't know what it's called, but I'll leave it linked in the description box down below for you guys. But I think unique headwear is such a great sort of trend to get into for the winter season. Because when I think of the fall and the winter, and especially winter, I think of just really taking it there and having fun, right? And so what better way to have more fun than to take a traditional sort of closet staple, which is a hat, and then reinterpret it to something that's a little bit more unique. I love the, again, examples that you're seeing from not only Amelie Andor, but also About Blank. They've been doing a really good job too. So this is definitely a hot take. I feel like once I drop my outfit photos featuring the unique hat that I got from Amelie Andor, it kind of might be the same reaction when it comes to the entire studio's puffer jacket. So I need to really know, really tap into the comments. Let me know, do you guys get what I'm saying? Or are you like, Stevie, I don't get what you're saying, but I trust you, so we'll just wait on the photos. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The last trend that I wanna talk about is the color of the season. I have been seeing a lot of people talk about this color right here. Let's talk about red. I feel like red as a color has been having a huge moment lately. You see it from fast fashion brands all the way to really high-end designer brands. They are sprinkling it into their campaigns, their actual clothes, their imagery, their social media, all that good stuff. And I feel like not only is it just the color red, but it's also shades of red. So burgundies, maroon, really nice, even like deep sort of plum that have more of like a purple tone to the red. I feel like that is kind of what I'm seeing a lot of. And I personally really like it. Obviously it's the holiday season. So red is naturally kind of all over the place right now. And I think it's kind of starting to reflect at least this particular season in men's fashion. I could see myself wearing just an all black fit with a really nice pop of red with a chunky knit underneath, or even an all black fit with maybe a pair of sneakers that have a nice red touch to it. I think for me, when it comes to colors for that particular season, I'm not gonna commit to a full red outfit. I'm not gonna commit to a super big article of clothing that is the color red because I feel like red is not really my personal favorite color. But in terms of playing with the trends, I think it's all about like sprinkling it in there, right? So like I said, maybe a hat, maybe a touch of red in your shoe, maybe an accessory like a ring that has red on it or just something small. You get what I'm trying to say. Even though it's not my personal favorite, I wanted to mention it for you guys because some of you guys might, you know, be fans of red and might be your favorite color. So that is the case, lucky you. And red is, at least from what I've been seeing, what I've been hearing and what I've been gathering, red is definitely the color color of the winter season. All right, you guys, and that is it for my personal favorites when it comes to the winter essentials and trends for the colder season and this year. I'm just super excited to kind of dabble into not only the trends that I mentioned, I know some of them weren't for everyone, so let me know what you guys think. And then I'm also really excited to obviously tap into just like the essentials and kind of pull those out. Thank you once again to Bruno Mark for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. You guys already know what it is. I love a good trendy moment here and there, but I truly believe you can never go wrong with the classics. And Bruno Mark, in my opinion, definitely has nailed that especially when it comes in the footwork category specifically so the boots that you guys are seeing the loafers that you guys are seeing truly 10 out of 10 i cannot recommend and as i said earlier i'm so excited to get some wear out of those patent like leather loafers for a holiday party that i have coming up so maybe you guys will see that on my instagram or tiktok somewhere so if you guys are interested in the bruno mark shoes i have an amazing discount code for you guys i'll leave it up on the screen and i'll also leave it linked in the description box down below check them out if you're interested they have pretty much everything you're gonna need when it comes to shoes so shout out to them yeah I think that's it for today's video. I had some fun kind of talking about the trend, so I'm excited to see sort of what my, what my comment section looks like later on <laughs> after I upload this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hope you guys are having an amazing holiday season and winter season with your loved ones. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.